Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 17 mod tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a number plate. It's a, just a plate you can put on the back of your car whenever you customize it. You can put all kinds of countries on it. It's a European plate unfortunately, but still you can customize it. It's pretty cool. And we're going to put it on a mod. It's very easy. Uh, you just have to have a basic understanding of how Giant Setter works and gotta be able to read English. You know, you don't even have to be able to read English really. I mean, it's pretty easy. So, first thing you wanna do is you wanna extract your mod. In this case, we're using an Audi, Audi R8 Dragon mod, just a random car. Then you wanna download the number plate pack that I made. You're gonna download it from the link in the description below. And you want to fire up the number pack, number plate pack. You want to extract it, so you're left with something like this. So you want to take the number plate, this folder here, copy it to your mod. Just a quick little note: uh, when I was recording this video, I didn't realize there were a couple other files that you needed to move. So you also need to move this textures folder. You also need to put that texture folder into your mod. So you want to copy it over here. I already put that in there. So you just copy it over your mod. Same with the number plate. Next up, you want to go into your mod. The i3d, you want to open it up. This is probably the hardest part right here. So we're going to go to view, camera, we're going to use the work camera, whatever. You don't want to screw up the camera. So in this case, this model already has two license plates. Uh, we're just going to turn the visibility off on those so you can't see them. And then we're going to import our number plates. So you want to navigate to where the mod is. And you want to go to the number plate and click on number plate holder. Open that up. You want to cut that. Paste it in here. Then we have one number plate, so we got one. So let's move it around, put it in position, put it on the back of the car like that. Boom, 50% of the way down the giant side there. Next up, you're gonna control V, move it over to the front of the car. If you're only putting the front license plate on or back license plate, it's gonna be uh, a lot easier for you. Not that it's hard, but Okay, so spin it around. We just want to get into position here. It's all crooked. Then put it on the car. Put it on like like so. And there we go. It's on. Obviously, that's pretty quick and dirty. Um, just, to, just showing you how to do it. And that's it. So, just remember that back over here, and remember your number plate holder. Uh, the back is 28, front is 29. Back is 28, front is 29. So, you want to save it and close it. So, next up, I want to open up the XML of the Audi. Or whatever your mod is. Obviously, it's not probably going to be the Audi, but so you want to open the uh, XML. You got the XML open, great. Then you want to come over here to the number plate pack, open the XML. You want to take everything here, you want to copy that come over here to the XML, and you want to come below the max rotated time speed value. This, you want to fire it in there. So, the plate index for the front is 29 and the back is 28. You just remember that or go back to your XML, check it out. We'll double check it here, that's the wrong one. Never mind, we won't double check it. But I just know that the back is, or the front is 29, the back is 28. This means it does not have a seal on it. Uh, it's like a little marking for the European plates and you don't have to have it on the, the front plate only the back plate 
so that's how you know. And we put the, the front plate on second, so 20, 29. Fairly self explanatory. So you want to save that, and then we're done with the XML after that. Next up, you got to open the mod description. A little bit trickier, but nothing too complicated. You want to take the L10N, you want to take this big block of text here, you want to copy that, you want to come over to your mod desk in the mod, and you want to come down here. Okay, it looks like we got some stuff here. Um, looks like whoever converted this mod or whatever, it didn't do a very good job. They left a couple of sloppy things here. So we're going to delete that. I'm going to paste that under the multiplayer. If there's nothing there, you paste it under the multiplayer. L10N always goes under the multiplayer. So then, you have the L10N. Um, next up, specializations. Specializations, go blow L10N. I'm just looking at this. I got confused for a second. This should be like this. So the specializations goes under L10 and you can copy it all as one block or copy them separately, whatever you want to do. Oops. Like that. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to come back to the mod description and you want to take this little block of text from 25 to 28 and I copy that. Sorry, skip this one. You want to take this line here, line 23. I'm going to put that in the bottom here. And then I'm going to take this little block here, the input bindings, and you want to put that all the way to the bottom. It looks like someone tried to do something with the input bindings, but we're just going to replace that. Away you go. So that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Make sure you save your files and you're done with them. It's very easy, anybody can do it. I made this little number plate pack here. It's really easy to do it. So anyways, let's check it out in game. There's the seal that I was talking about, the green one on top. It's on the back. It's not on there on the front. So there you go. It's actually very easy to add one of these number plates to a mod. Uh, so if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, I'll leave a link to download everything you need to do this in the description. Share this video, uh, share it with your friends, share it with anybody that likes playing Fire Sim. It's a pretty cool little addition you can do to personalize your mods. I think it's cool.